Your personal life has been drawing attention from the film. Let me tell everybody what happened. Nate was charged and acquitted of rape in 1999 while he was a student at Penn State. What happened that night? Take, take us through what you remember. Well, it, as, as you know, I, going into details, trying to really get a case is, is, is not something I'm, I'm willing to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sitting here uh, the last four weeks going through it, watching the, the ticker of, of headlines, uh, the salacious headline, asking myself, what are these journalists trying to do? Do they care about anyone involved? Do they care about what we've been talking about? Um, I think it's been a tragedy on so many levels. You know, obviously, when I first uh, spoke, I had no idea, you know, that the state of this woman, um, my, you know, my only goal was, you know, protect, you know, protect assert my innocence because I was in it. You know, well, it's like... What, what, here's what happened. This incident happened in 1999. In 2012, 13 years later, this woman that this happened to committed suicide. The media picked it up and began to run with it. Here, here's the damning thing for me. A person gets acquitted in this country of a really vile crime. Rape is probably... The worst. That's top of the line, the worst. Okay, we all agree with that. To be having this conversation, I'm also not blinded to the fact that we're two men having this conversation. That's right. Two men up here talking about rape. Mm -hmm. That already mm -hmm. ain't the best look. Mm -hmm. If in 1999 this happened, what the media can't do is this young girl, tragically, this woman takes her life 13 years later and tie that back to that. And then tie all of that back to you. It's not right. Mm -hmm. I find that to be just a bit unfair. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a black man in this country, and you get accused of raping a white woman, your chances of walking out of that courtroom is slim to none. Just slim to none. You, you know, I think that, that, that when, you, when you think about the, thing, the way things have happened, I've had to ask myself, uh, these headlines, you know, are we in the business of headlines or are we in the business of healing? Because I'm trying to do the work. You know, I'm trying, to fig I'm trying to figure out how to navigate this, this space that I'm walking through as an artist uh, who has, was falsely accused, vindicated, judicial system, now, you know, dealing with it in the sense, okay, well, well, Lord, what am I to come out of this with? You know, I went through this when I was 19. You know what I mean? Even get, you know, w with respect to my faith, like how did you, you know, how do you deal with a situation like that as a teenager? How do you deal with making a move? How do you deal with, like, how do you deal with any of the obstacles that come, uh, you come up in your life? It's, it's by faith and asking, okay, God, what do you want me to get from this? Because something's, you know, I, I can get upset with the media and be mad, or I can say, what can come out of this that can be productive? And the thing that it can come out of this thing, one thing the media did by, by this thing resurfacing, in my opinion, we need to talk about something that is epidemic in America that no one's talking about. And if my film or if this moment has to be something that puts our eyes and the spotlight on it, then so be it. And that is violence against women, uh, sexual violence against women by men in this country, right? I, this is something that I'm learning about, mm -hmm. you know? Because what I've learned in going through all this is there are so many survivors that you would never even know. Right. To the point that I was getting text messages from people, people that would, let's say, were supportive, saying, well, I support you. This happened to me when I was this age. So then I'm going to my family and I'm like, I've, I've you know, four younger sisters, I'm like, did, did you have, did you have it? One of my sisters is a survivor of sexual assault. Uh, and then I asked myself, okay, well, is there any way I can use my platform to, to, to raise awareness about this? Because guess what? The media ain't covering that.